Because he's thirsty, dear. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, it's done. Obviously, that's from our sourcing trip out in the wild. We're going to look at some more footage and talk about some of the things I'm looking for while I'm out in the wild. We'll also take a look at some items that I found and discuss one of the best buys and why I was able to get it for almost nothing. Because he's thirsty, dear. <laughs> oh my god. I used to have this, but mine was uh, red. Fly shooter. Fly shooter, yeah. I'm going to get this for rubber. So it just shoots rubber bands or something? No, it, you attach that to it and it shoots it. Okay, if you say so. <laughs> we can smack the I mean, well, it'd be great. For, you know, I haven't seen a fly in a while. Uh, not flies, I was going to say spiders, but. Uh. This will be quick, easy outside because there's nothing out here. Christmas ornaments you can get at the thrift store for half the price I got it here. Yeah. A fake head, an old hammer that's no good. Junk, probably wine cases. Junk. Records outside, yeah, that's gonna be good for them. There's another one of those hedgehogs. What's up with that? They got one entrance so people can't steal it. Guaranteed. I did That's awful. <laughs> Get a pair for Tim just for shits. Sorry, but the BGs are not worth money. Oh, it's pickles from Rugrats. You don't like pickles? No, it's the Rugrats. Hand. You don't like the Rugrats? No. <laughs> I don't get that. Now, I always look over through the records at thrift stores or antique malls like this. Most people don't look them up. They just throw a couple bucks on them, think they're not worth anything because they don't have picture sleeves, but that's not the case. Now, these are milk bottle caps. They're like the liners that go inside of a milk bottle. Oh, the, the Christmas ones? Yeah. I'll be there in a minute. Oh, well, now for that. Like, You'll be lucky to get 14 for it online, if even that. Now, I always check out these galvanized coffee pots. I found some marked USN for US Navy, and some of those can go for hundreds of dollars. This wasn't one of them, though. If I find something from Marjo oh, again. That's a Volrath, but it's not. If it's wooden, it's probably a just modern junk. Maybe. Yeah, that's just modern junk. Mm 
Here's some World War II spats, and they were priced double what they are worth. A lot of junk. Here's a giant Barbie for you, baby. Oh, it's a Toto picture disc. I was always wanting one of those. Mickey. There's probably nothing in it. Oh, no, there is something. Never heard of them. How much is it? Thirteen fifty. Look that one up, because that one's. Hold on to it for a second. Okay. Mickey, okay. For thirteen dollars, that doesn't sound like a bad price, but it might not be worth anything. You know what I mean? The Karalika Chan Mickey and Mackie dolls. I don't know. Does that what they look like? No, that doesn't look. Here's, here's a couple of them. There's the case with the whole bunch for only 20 bucks. So, yeah, I put it back. Because I've had those. We sold it to them. Yeah, they got pets for me. There's the evil guy from Star Wars. It's an ugly mask right there. Yeah, do you see how much they want out of it? So here's that actual book, or what they said was a book. Now, this is something that's extremely rare beyond belief. Biggest factor here is this is not a book. That is why this person priced it at 10 bucks. They thought it was totally trashed out, which the actual cardboard holder is definitely damaged. It's repairable, though, believe it or not. I could recolor this, do some backing to it, attach the flaps, and fix this relatively simply. It's just missing some stuff in here. Here's the actual insert pieces for it as well. Now, what this is, is a stack of folio books right here. These are the folios. This is how you can sell it. You don't even have to sell the cardboard for this specific one. Now, these may look to be in bad condition as well. These were actually hand put together. You could reattach the spine. These can be repaired, or they could be sold just as you see it. Most of them are still fairly attached in here. This is a nine-part book that was only printed if you paid in advance. Altogether, it was printed from 1905. As you can see here, they can sell for hundreds of dollars. Now, these two listings, the person listed them cheap. They sold cheap. This book sold 13 months ago for 850 bucks. A few months before that, somebody put it up and got a thousand bucks for it. Again, it's not technically a book. It's a folio edition, nine folios. What's important about this is it's all hand put together. There's pages lined between them, onion skins to protect it. These are fine quality images of buildings and things that don't exist for the most part anymore inside views the whole works this is the only way to find these sorts of things there were companies back in this time frame that would drive around from city to city and offer put a prospectus out there to see how many people would be interested in buying a book like this from their own town and if they got a lot of business or a lot of interest they would print just that many for the people who would pay in advance they need to pay in advance on these so as you can see, this could sell here, even in this condition, just as you see it here, for three or four hundred bucks. I could put it back together with the actual cardboard box. Again, this is a box. It was just tied shut at one time. It was just tied together with two strings, ribbons, whatever you want to call it, when it was sold and given to the person who purchased it. Even with the paper, which the paper is the inserts, I could fix that. I could push it back in, reflatten it back out. It would still be hundreds of dollars for this. These aren't just from this area, Washington County here in Pennsylvania. You can find these for almost any city out there of a decent size. There had to be enough people in the city for something like this for the companies who were doing these sorts of things to be able to produce prints of them. They had to have enough interest enough people paying the money up front to do a print run like this well there you have it hopefully that gave you some ideas some thoughts if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button down below you can also hit the bell icon to be notified if i post new content or go live subscribe and tell all your friends
Saturday, the fun starts when Nancy meets Francie, Sunshine's mom. Actually, we live a very quiet life here. Oh, oh God, God, God. God. And what do you call this? Bad timing. Then there's a fire at the fishes. Fish. The empty house two doors down, it's on fire. Could Victor be a firebug? These children are under my supervision. Go fish! And Starsky and Hutch are set up by the mob. Right after Blansky's Beauties and Fish.